Lesson 16.5a, Grouping Data in Intervals. A common method of representing data is to group the data in intervals and plot the frequencies of the data in each interval. We can do this by making a histogram. A histogram is a bar graph that shows the frequency of data in intervals. Now, what's an interval? An interval is the space between marked values on a number line or the scale of a graph. Here we have a data set with some data values, and here we have a frequency table, and it's telling us the intervals go from 1 to 4 and 5 to 9. We can use this dot plot to represent the data. We make a dot for each data value, and we can see in the interval from 1 to 4 there are three values. There's a 3 under frequency. And for the interval 5 to 9, we have 4 values. There's a 4 for frequency. We can group data in intervals. Here's some student scores on a science test, and they're already in order. We use a dot plot to represent the data, and we can circle dots that are in each interval of the frequency table. We have from 80 to 85. We circle those. We have two values in that interval. We put that into our frequency table. The next interval is from 86 to 90. We circle those. In that interval, there's 5, so we write that for the frequency. The next interval is from 91 to 95. We circle those. There's 3 in that interval. We put that in the table. And for the interval, the last one, we have 96 to 100. We circle those. There's 4 in that interval. We write that in our table. Each data value represents one student. There should be one dot for each data value. And we can add up the frequency here. We have 2 and 5 is 7, and 3 and 4 is 7. We have 14. There are 14 data values, so there are 14 students, 14 scores. We can find the mean of the data. The mean is the sum of the data values divided by the number of data values. We add up all the scores. We get 1,288. There's 14 scores, so we divide it by 14. We get a 92 for the mean. 92 is the average test score. Remember, the median is the middle number of the data set, or the mean, the average, of the two middle numbers. We can find the median of the data. We had our student scores on a science test. We make sure they're in order. And we find the middle number. Here we have two middle numbers. We have six values on this side and six values on this side. We end up with two middle numbers. We find the mean of those numbers and we get 90.5, 90, 90 and a half. And we can find the range of the data. We do the greatest value minus the least value. So we're going to do 100 minus 82. We get 18 for our range. We can find the interquartile range, the IQR of the data. Remember, the IQR is the difference of the upper quartile and the lower quartile. The low, lower quartile is the median of the lower half. The upper quartile is the median of the upper half. So that's going to be the middle number of this lower half, and the upper quartile is going to be the middle number of the upper half. We need to know the median to do this. The median is right here at 90.5, and we have three values on this side of 88 and three values on this side of 88, so we know 88 is the median number of this lower half. And for the upper half, we have three values on this side of 98 and three values on this side of 98, so we know 98 is the median of the upper half. We do the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. We get a 10 when we do 98 minus 88. We know the IQR is 10. We're finished with the first part of the lesson. We're going to be moving on to the second part using a histogram. If you missed the lessons on IQR or you don't remember, they're linked in the video description to help you. I hope you have a wonderful day and join me for the second part of the lesson. Bye.